A family is dealing with a heartbreaking loss after a 10-year-old boy died in the Big Sioux River. Saturday evening, the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office, along with multiple other agencies, were called to a river for a drowning. Kevin Band's Carter Schmidt shows us how the community is coming together to support the victim's family. Good evening, Angela. 10-year-old Ricky Sneevy went into the water to help save his sister. She got to safety, but Ricky did not make it back to shore. Now friends and family are coming together to help support the family. It's a calm day on the Big Sioux River south of Hudson. That wasn't the case on Saturday evening. When I arrived on scene, there was numerous fire departments, ambulance agencies, um, a lot of emergency uh, workers. Um, we had three boats in the water and several dive teams. It took four hours for crews to recover the body of 10-year-old Ricky Sneevy. Ricky was um, down swimming and fishing with his family and um, his sister and two brothers um, had gone in the water and his dad went to go help the other two out and Ricky went in after his sister and got his sister back to shore and he didn't come back up. Tony Dumas has been friends with the boy's family for a long time. He was just amazing. He yeah, was outgoing, rambunctious, and I mean, he's a typical boy, but loved to uh, help people out. I mean, he, him and his mom are like best friends, and he'd do anything for her, and he's just, he loved hanging out with his dad, and he just was a great, great kid. Dumas owns Country Road Photography and is donating a portion of the money she receives from upcoming sessions to the family. Her post has received more than 500 shares on Facebook. I just thought if I could get a couple hundred dollars for him, that'd be great. Um, I never expected it to get shared as much as was, but I'm not surprised with how everything else has been going and the boy that Ricky was. It's, it's amazing. Many will remember Ricky as a hero. First responders want you to think of him the next time you're out on the water. The river may look calm and fun to play in, but it's very important that people have life jackets on, are supervised, especially kids, because no parent should have to go through something like this. It's tragic. So, Carter, is there another way that people can help out the family? Yeah, Tom, there's a GoFundMe page that's organized by Ricky's uncle. So far, more than $21,000 has been raised. We'll have a link to that on Coland.com. Thank you, Carter. A 